Hi, it's Elaine with simply-healthy.com and today I have something very important, very personal that I wanted to share with you and it's going to end with a challenge for both of us. So something that I've realized I've been doing over the past, I don't know, several months, it's consuming way too much media. Okay, I realized that, first of all, I don't even have a TV that I watch anymore. However, I have a computer, I have a phone, and I'm noticing that I'm spending way too much time, particularly at night, on these devices, okay? And um, the reason why I know this is an issue, well, it all started pretty um, innocently, okay? I, had, I was at a point where I wasn't watching a lot of TV, um, my, I had a very good evening routine, a very good morning routine, and I felt awesome, very passionate about life. I felt God's love pouring in, in me and through me, and um, everything just seemed a whole, lot, a whole lot brighter. So I started introducing some things to kind of treat myself, which I mean, I always advocate, but one of the things I started doing to treat myself is to bring my computer into my bedroom and to watch a couple of videos or do some uh, research, which is like entertainment for me, health research, in my bed at night. Okay, and that could last for hours. And I would do it every now and then. But I've noticed that it's become a habit. And that habit has prevented me from having my usual evening routine that I had developed my morning is off as well, and I, I feel a lot of um, other stuff creeping in that I have been able to really um, deal with in a more positive way at, at, at one point. So I've decided that I need to go on a media fast. So I'm going to take out all the extra, all the extra research, all the extra information, education that I'm um, ingesting particularly at night, taking away some of the videos, taking away all the videos, the extra videos, and I'm going to do this for seven days, and I invite you to join me. So you say, that is the hardest thing you could ever ask me to do. <laughs> I can do the food part, yeah, I can, you know, get my food together, my food plan down, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, snacks, I can exercise, you know, pretty regularly. But taking away my TV or taking away my extra phone time or computer time, uh-uh. Well, here's how you know if it's something that you need to do. Are you feeling a little more anxious these days? A little more fearful, not as um, faithful as you would like to be? Are you having any issues with digestion? Okay, digestive upset, elimination problems. Are, is your sleep poor? Are you not sleeping as well? Waking up in the morning still feeling groggy and lethargic. Are you feeling like you're eating right, exercising right, but the weight's not really coming off like you would anticipate? Are you getting sick more often, even if it's just little things like colds? Okay, stuffy nose. Are you feeling like you're broken? Like, like you can't just get it together? Okay, are you having difficulty making decisions these days? A lot of confusion, a lot of fogginess going on up here. Well, if any of that ap uh, applies to you, that's an indication that you need to pull back and do a fast. Now, a fast itself is something that we do. For, we abstain from food in our drink for a particular period of time for a particular reason for, in, in my point of view, for a spiritual breakthrough, spiritual renewal. Well, this media fast, we're not taking away food or certain drink. I'm not telling you what you should eat. But what we are going to abstain from is media. And it is for a spiritual breakthrough. This is, we need it, okay? We are, we are being so bombarded by so many um, images that get into our subconscious brain that we're not even aware of. And guess what? 90% of your actions, of my actions, are dictated by our subconscious brain. This is stuff that happens automatically. This has nothing to do with our will. 
our co cognition. This is, has to do with just things that are happening, thoughts that you think subconsciously. And it's greatly influenced by external forces. Media being one of the things that's top of the list. Okay, so it's, t it's need. I know it's needed for me to pull back, pull back so that I can um, be refilled, okay? And whenever we do something for a particular period of time, the optimal result is to create a new habit. One of my favorite verses, Romans 12:12 12, 12 says, may you be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And the only way we can renew our mind is to take out a lot of the stuff, take out our exposure to a lot of the stuff. You may say, oh, it's uh, educational. It's educational. It's research. Or it's just for fun. It's just comedy. You know, it's just people's lie. You know, it's no big deal. I'm not watching, like, scandalous stuff. <laughs> but, folks, it all goes in. Because what's most important? We want to think upon what's good and what's pleasing from above. And if that's not forefront in our mind, all the other stuff is what's um, dictating our behavior. Okay? It's dictating how our body reacts. It affects us on a chemical level. So I think you get the reason why. So this is how we're going to feel after doing this seven-day media fast. And ideally, we want to continue. I, that's my intention, is to continue. You feel more... Um, free. Free from fear and anxiety. Why? Because you are being filled with the love and joy that comes from within. Um, you be more inspired. Feel more creative. Be, be creative. Have a sense of peace within you that lasts and lasts. It's not temporary. Have self-control. Self-control. So what are some things that you could do? What are some things I'm going to do besides um, my regular media time? Well, take a look at some of your hobbies. Okay, what hobby have you been kind of pushed aside or not really cultivated? Or maybe you don't have a hobby that you can do at home or even outdoors. You know, it depends on when you want to, how you want to operate this. But cultivate your hobby. Something that brings you pleasure that you can just spend hours and hours doing and, um, and feel good about it. Read a fictional book. Okay, there are a lot of good books out there. I intend to read um, some C.S. Lewis books. I haven't really gotten into those. The Alchemist is a great book I recommend reading. It's fictional. And these are books that are fictional but have a, a great meaning. But any fictional book, you know, get, get some fictional books. Um, other things you can do is to um, go to bed early. Go to sleep earlier. We all need to be in bed, sleep, between 10 and 11 p.m. So if you're finding that your media time actually happens a lot after that, what you could do is just decide you're going to go to sleep earlier. Okay? And there's different things you can do to get into a routine so that you can fall asleep more easily, but that's for a different video. Email me if you want to know some suggestions. If you have a significant other, a, a husband or a wife, you guys can play together. Okay, an actual game or play together. Okay, explore one another. That would be something awesome to do. And last but certainly not least, spend some extra time in meditation and prayer. And I'm not talking about sad time. This is not where you're pouring out all your problems and issues and asking for all of these things. This is when you just get a chance to be in the presence of the Holy Spirit. It's time you look forward to, to be with Him to, and that you experience um, His love being poured into you. Okay? It's very refreshing time. And something that... Many of us don't do nearly as often enough because when we do these things, uh, we approach life in a totally different way 
no matter what the actual circumstances are. Okay? We approach life from a viewpoint of love, faith, joy, passion. It, guys, it's all there for us. And I can tell you all day what you should eat and how you should exercise. But if we're not getting that spiritual food first, it doesn't make a difference. It doesn't make a difference. Our power to do those things that we really want to do positively in our life comes from the source that is within. And the only way we can connect to it and stay connected is to have that time. Have that time separated. Specifically for that purpose. And so join me, please. Seven days. I'm going to start Sunday. You start whenever you want to. I'll keep going as long as you want to, whenever you start. And let's do this together. On Facebook, I'm going to be sharing different um, information about why media, what media is actually doing to us. And the flip side, what not having media can do. So it's going to be very informational. Um, actually, I'm not going to be sharing on me on Facebook. I just thought of that because you're not supposed to be on Facebook. That includes social media, the fast. Now, if you have to do this stuff for work, that's totally different. Of course, you have to be on the Internet for work. You have to be on the computer. You have to use your phone for work. I'm talking about all the extra things. You know what that is for you going to be different for everybody, okay? But let's make an effort and do this. Seven days. We can do anything for seven days. And let's create a new habit so that we are renewed. Our mind is renewed, okay? If you have any questions, please contact me at elaine at simply-healthy.com. You can also give me a telephone call at 314-399-9310. I'd love to hear from you. Let's do this together, and thank you for your support. Goodbye.